these girls are not in training for the Olympic Games. They are learning to be mannequins at a school off one of London's fashionable squares. One day they'll be displaying the latest models in one of the famous fashion houses. But before that time comes, they've a lot to learn. First, they must get their figures perfect. Come on, pull it in there. That waist must be just right to show off clothes to advantage. And she must learn to hold her arms gracefully without getting tired, or at least without showing it. Before going on to the next lesson, the second girl must be put through the same routine. A most important point is to hold the legs and feet correctly. This makes all the difference between grace and awkwardness, so it's worth getting right. The pupils watch closely. On feet that know the tricks, shoes can look twice as attractive. Keeping your body erect and graceful while walking onto a raised platform takes quite a lot of practice. And those feet have got to finish up in exactly the right place. An experienced mannequin watches while the learners go through their paces. Unlike other pupils, mannequins-to-be carry books on their heads and not in their heads. This is to teach them deportment. If the book falls off, they lose a mark. Now the experienced mannequin is going to show the other girls how to walk gracefully and, a very tricky business this, how to manage a fan properly. Ever wondered how mannequins manage to change so often without ruining their hair? Here's the secret. With a covering on their head, they can get out of their clothes and still look as if they've come straight from the hairdresser. Here's the secret of how they change so quickly. They never fasten their clothes, that's the dresser's job. And now you see the trained model showing off one of the latest bits of nonsense for the head. Yes, it's hard training being a man.